You remember from earlier, we found that we had a CV boot that's got a leaky problem. Now there's supposed to be grease inside of there. And if you let it go, then you're going to end up with the classic, you know, you drive down the street and, and that is a bad CV joint. Luckily, we got to it before it happened. And now if you're a repair guy out there and you own a shop, you don't want me to show people how to put this in because this really is a great repair for your local guy, but it's not that hard and we can show you how. So the first thing I did was went ahead and pulled the nut off the axle. Um, there's splines right here and what's going on is you're driving from here's the wheel It's coming from the transmission coming all the way through and this is your joint It's gonna allow you to steer the vehicle back and forth and there's another spline shaft in the back in the transmission Which we'll see in a little bit. So we got that out now the second thing we did was we pulled the castle nut which went right here on the ball joint we got that out and pride right back off the, the lower A-arm, pull that out, and you can see now that's free. Now, we took a brass hammer, kind of tapped on this, try to get it loose without ruining this lower seal. If you do ruin the seal, um, it's okay. You can replace it, but obviously it's much easier if you don't. And if you really have trouble getting it apart, you can use a pickle fork, but again, that's gonna ruin your seal more than likely. All right. So we're to that point. Let's get our brass hammer out again. We're gonna to try to get the axle off of these splines. I've already loosened it a little bit just to make it easy. Okay. Now, last thing we need to do is pull the axle out of the tranny. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up a little drain pan. And there's a seal in the back. You just wanna put a little bit of a pry bar back there, but you don't wanna hurt the seal. And I'm gonna pull a little, there we go. Okay, and you can see the tranny fluid come out. That's a lot. Most cars, it's more like a dribble, but this is really running. Now, I'm lucky. There we go. Okay. Pull that out. And there you go. There's a little C-clip, holds it in. All right. We got the old one out. We got our pieces laid in our tray here. And we got our new parts from CarQuest. You get your boot, your little band clamps, and your grease. Now this thing came out really easily. All we had to do is uh, pop the old bands off, slide the boot out of the way. And then uh, at that point, there's a little clip on the inside. You open it up and at that point, whoosh, slides off the spline shaft, good to go. All right, now once you've got it apart, you can wash it out, repack it with grease, just like a wheel bearing. You're ready to reassemble in the reverse order. Now a CV joint, typically put on the front of a car because you've got high angles in that joint. Unlike a drive shaft, it's pretty straight with a little bit of angle, you know, and that works really well. It's a really cost-effective, simple joint. But if you took a U-joint and you put a high angle, like when you're trying to steer and put power down, wow. you can try it at home. Get your socket set out and feel it, and you'll feel it. It, it feels pretty wonky. <laughs> that would be one wobbly ride. Or, oh, yeah, definitely. Or the world's most expensive socket set. You put a CV in it. Yeah, so it's constant velocity of the shaft going in equals the velocity of the shaft going out. Nice and smooth, you don't even know it's there. Let me show you inside the CV joint. You can see how the slots are milled for the balls. That really gives you a lot of deflection and lets it move really smooth. Yeah, it's a really neat when you pull them apart. It's a convoluted shape. I don't know how they machine it in there, but once it's together, it's a pretty simple unit.